We developed Fast Flowering Mini Maze to bring the advantages of a small, rapid cycling model to maize. Mini Maze is capable of producing seed in 60 days and requires less space than traditional lines. This property allows more plants to be grown in a given amount of space. In the description you can find links to our publications as well as to specific sections of the video. Controlled pollination is important for genetic analysis. Covering the ears and tassels of maize plants helps prevent contamination by errant pollen grains. This pollination protocol is largely the same as the normal maize pollination protocol, but highlights some tweaks that are necessary due to the small stature of mini maize. Full size ear shoot bags are too long for mini maize. To adapt ear shoot bags for mini maize, cut them approximately in half. Next, cut the open end of the ear shoot bag to resemble an exaggerated version of the original tab. On a mini maize plant, the ear will generally emerge from the node of the fourth or fifth leaf from the top. If the ear flag leaves are long, they should be trimmed back to about one and a half to two centimeters. Place the side of the shoot bag with the longer tab against the stalk of the plant and slide the tab into the leaf sheath between the flag leaves and the stalk. If the flag leaves are small, pull the tab side of the ear shoot bag firmly around the stalk so it does not catch on the flag leaves and crumple them. Once in place, the ear shoot bag should completely encompass the flag leaves so the ear shoot and silks will grow into the bag. Ears emerging from the fifth node from the top are more common on plants that have a relatively small tassel flag leaf. If ear flag leaves are not visible at the fourth leaf node, gently pull the leaf away from the stalk and peer into the leaf sheath to confirm the absence of an ear. If no emerging ear leaves are visible, cover the ear shoot of the fifth leaf node as previously described. As with ear shoot bags, full-size tassel bags are too large for mini maize. Cut the bag in half before attaching it to a plant. It is important to give the tassel airspace to allow the anthers to extrude. In most standard lines of maize, the tassel is large enough to expand the tassel bag. With mini maize, it is a good idea to invert the crease at the top of the bag to create an airspace. Place the bag over the tassel and bring the open end together, roughly centered on the base of the tassel stalk. Fold the opening end of the bag in half around the tassel stalk so that the corners of the bag meet. Fold the corners up at a 45 degree angle to seal the bottom of the bag. Apply a non-skid paper clip to hold this fold and keep the bag securely on the plant. Check under ear shoot bags daily and trim the flag leaves back so that 1 to 2 centimeters remain, then recover. This will prevent the flag leaves from knocking off the ear shoot bag as they grow. If silks are cut, pollination can be performed the next day or up to three days later. Indicate that the silks have been cut by folding over the tip of the ear shoot bag or marking the bag with a marker. Do not cut silks a second time because they may fail to regrow. Carefully bend the plant over so that any pollen will run into the tassel bag instead of out the opening. Remove the paper clip and open the bag then shake the tassel to release fresh pollen. Separate the anthers from the pollen by opening the bag wide and holding it with a slight slope toward the opening of the bag. Gently tap the side of the bag to cause the anthers and pollen to roll toward the opening. Anthers will roll faster than the pollen and can be discarded. Pinch the bottom edge of the bag to form a trough that will catch the pollen and allow for more precise pouring. Set the bag aside where stray pollen will not fall or blow in. Cut the tip off the ear shoot bag and open it to gain access to the silks. Evenly apply pollen to the silks by tapping and moving the bag. When complete, cover the ear with a tassel bag and staple it around the plant.
it is highly recommended to increase seed in a greenhouse before attempting to grow mini maize in the field. In the field, wind can blow ear shoot bags off of mini maize. The following protocol is recommended to secure the ear shoot bags to the plant. When cutting the ear shoot bag, save the bottom half that is normally discarded. Cover the ear as described earlier. After the ear shoot bag is in place, staple the shoot bag's tab side accordion fold to the saved half as a backing. Repeat for the other side. This backing prevents wind from blowing off the ear shoot bag. Alternatively, the lower ear shoot can be bagged as well, and the two shoot bags can be stapled together. Please use the pause button to read these important tips.